From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now is Lauren with Tyler Junior College. We are talking about the 50 gallon challenge. It is returning for year number 12, you said, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, for those who aren't familiar with what the 50 gallon challenge is, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's a week long blood drive held at TJC where we attempt to collect 50 gallons or 400 units of blood uh, to help save up to 1200 lives here in our community. Okay, well, I got to ask why 50 gallons or is that just the mark y'all put on it? That's the mark we put on it when we started and uh, pre COVID we had exceeded that goal every year. So hoping to do that again this year. All right. Well, you know, why do y'all feel the need to be able to host this event here in East Texas? Yeah, well, TJC has has had blood drives for many years, uh, partnership with Carter Blood Care, and they really challenged us a uh, long time ago uh, to help fulfill the need. It's right after spring break. Their donations are actually a little bit lower after that. People are traveling, schools are closed, and so we really help, hope to fill that need uh, by hosting this drive during March each year. Well, I know blood is in short supply across mm -hmm. the country, uh, and I don't know why it's so difficult for people to want to come out and donate. So y'all are offering a little bit of incentives, right? Yeah, we offer incentives every day uh, for our community and for our students to come out and donate. And it is a pretty simple process. You know, they can make appointments. There's quick screens that they can do to really streamline it. Um, and of course, they get free stuff, right? So they get a, a water bottle, a T-shirt, um, just, you know, different giveaways throughout the days like HTO or, um, you know, Starbucks, anything to help get them to roll up their sleeves and donate. Well, I mean, how excited are y'all to be on year 12 of this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just really want to make a positive impact here in our community. The community does so much for us as the college uh, that this is our uh, way that we can give back and our students don't even have to leave campus to do so. All right. Well, if we're interested in donating, how can we go about that process? Yeah, we have multiple locations every day. So uh, Rogers Student Center is sort of our hub there on the corner of Baxter and Lake Street. Uh, we'll be, you know, have mobile units throughout our campus. Uh, we'll even be at TJC West tomorrow if our students on that side of town want to join us. So either way, we just hope the community and our partners can come out and help us reach our goal. All right, well, if we're looking for some more information on the event, where can we go? Yeah, you can go to tjc.edu slash events and all of the locations and times and giveaways are listed there. All right, perfect. Well, it is such a great thing y'all are doing, giving back to the community this yes. way, especially like I said, with uh, blood being just such in uh, short supply, but high Absolutely. demand. Mm -hmm. All right, Laura, well, we appreciate you coming on and talking about it with us. Yes, today. thank you for your time. All right, of course. Stick